Now, in this video of Bootstrap, we will start working with the typography. Basically, in HTML, as we know, there are several heading tags like from H1 to H6 for different font sizes. If you want to put two headings at the same line, maybe for the different font sizes, you want tutorials point maybe in the as a h1 tag maybe at the next step you want simply easy learning in h2 and h3 in the same line but in html it is not possible similarly there are so many things with the text which is not possible with a normal html but your bootstrap can definitely provide you those things so let's see what is all there in the typography using bootstrap so now before getting started with typography what I have done here that I have changed the class here like in the previous video when we were discussing about the group grid systems we use the row as the class but here I have put container and in most of the videos from now onwards I will use the same class as the main structure which will contain the main structure alright so that's why it's the container now inside this let's begin with the new things which we are going to learn in typography so let's start working with the headings part as I discussed in the discussion right now in this video like here you can put the headings of different sizes on the same row which wasn't possible earlier in a plain HTML so here as you can see in h1 I have written something called I'm h1 I'm heading 1 h1 all right so basically uh, here you can see i have used a small tag this small tag is actually mentioned within the h1 tag so that this small tag will come to know that it should be smaller than an h1 tag similarly for h2 i have used small tag so this small tag will put this secondary heading with smaller than this h2 all right so let's save this and let's come to the browser and let me refresh this now and here you can see that i'm heading one h1 and right after that it's a secondary heading all right so this is how using this small tag you can put the headings of different sizes on the same line and it can go further apart if you want to put even smaller heading you can just add one more small tag right after that you can also use small tag without any h1 like here in this example you can see i have used small text it means small tag strong tag and emphasize tag since here this is small it will be like smaller in size strong will be like bold and em that is emphasize will actually put the text in the italics so let's see the output how it's looking now so here you can see this is bolder this is italics and this is comparatively smaller in size so whatever is the size of your default text this small text will make it a bit more smaller so this is how you can start working with these three tags like small, strong and emphasize. But apart from that, Bootstrap does pro provide you some classes which will give a different look to the plain text. As here, you can see I have put several paragraph tags. You can put any tag. My purpose is just to pass a tag so that I can use these classes like text left, text center, text right. As the name says, you can um, uh, just guess like it is all about the alignment. So the first three rows on which we will work will give you a different alignment. So let's come to the browser and refresh it. So first is left aligned, center aligned and right aligned. All right. Now this is muted. If you want to put a text which you want to show some disable, like something is disabled, the feature is not available. So then you can say text muted. So it will basically keep the text in the default alignment but it will it's looking like a grayish color means something disabled all right similarly in the coming five paragraph tags you can see there's a different kind of uh, classes like text primary text success text info text warning and text danger so basically what they are doing they are not doing some fancy thing not doing some classical thing uh, sorry technical thing but here they are just changing the color of the text 
So basically this is the primary. When you want to show that there is some success out there, you can show text success. It is something called info. If you want to give any information on the web, this is warning and generally we use show the danger means the critical actions in red font. So it is red. So it's not like that. If you want to use this orange uh, text for any reason, you can use text warning class. All right. Similarly, here I am just changing the font color, but we can also change the background color of the text in the same context. For that, we will use the same concept like primary success info warning danger, but rather than text here, the class name is BG primary, BG success, BG info, BG warning and BG danger. So let's save it and see how it's looking now. So here you can see the color pattern is same, but now the text is in the default color and the background of that particular text is actually changed. So this is how you can deal with the different kind of text and you can display differently on the browser. Apart from that, you can also go for this abbreviation tag. Basically, if you are showing some abbreviation in your web and you also want to show the full form of that particular abbreviation, so you can go for this ABBR tag as here you can see welcome to TP. So what I, what I mean from this TP? So I enclose this particular text inside abbreviation text and in, within this I have shown title. So when I will execute that I can see both the abbreviated form and the full form. So let me refresh this and here when I will put the text over it, it will show me a question mark and it, along with that it will show you the text that is tutorials point. So let's discuss a couple of more tags which are provided here by Bootstrap. So the first tag which I'm going to discuss here is the mark tag. If you are writing a paragraph on your web page and you want to highlight a section of that, so you can go for the mark tag. This mark tag wasn't there in the classic HTML, but there if you want to highlight a particular text, you can simply put that inside a particular span tag and you can change the background uh, color property using the CSS. And the second tag which I'm going to discuss is the KBD tag which we can use in case if we are going for any keyboard shortcut and I want to show that in the web page. So here you can see control plus P which is for the print command. I have enclosed that inside the KBD tag. So when I see that on the browser, it will be highlighted differently. So here you can see control P is the keyboard shortcut and because of that KBD tag it is enclosed inside this black background and here you can see a pinkish peach color in which this highlight this particular text is being highlighted. So these are the things which you can go through using typography in bootstrap.